Hello and Namaste everyone. Welcome to the first lesson in learning AutoCAD. Today I will show you how you can use some basic commands in AutoCAD. We are going to make alphabets like these using those basic commands. Okay. So when you first open the AutoCAD, the home page appears like this after some loading time. And now you have to click on new to open a new document. Here I have a new drawing sheet. First we have to specify the dimensions of a drawing. For this type the command UN. To type the command we have to click on the screen and then just type un enter so here i can choose the dimensions of my drawing i will just keep it as inches for now so okay so the units has been set to inches to draw a line you can click on the screen and then type the command line l i n e line enter so it says to specify the first point so now you have to click for the first point so i will click here then I can stretch the line in the direction that I want. Okay, so I will stretch the line in this direction. I can now specify the end point and then press enter. Here is the line. Now, if you want the line of fixed times, then you can just specify the first point by pressing L means line. So, line the first point, and then you can just specify the dimensions, like I will say um, 10 inches. Enter. Then again enter then here is the line so this is how you can draw a line if you want to draw a line to the dashboard then you can click on this command line and then just specify the first point stretch the line specify the end point press enter and then here is the line you can draw the alphabets by using these lines now let me show you how you can do that now in order to delete these lines you can just select uh, at some point and then do like this to select all the objects and then press on delete let me show you how you can draw the letter a to draw the letter a first you have to draw a straight line so l enter specify the starting point and then stretch out a line here you can see that my line is sometimes zigzag in order to solve this problem you just have to enable this option restrict cursor orthogonally when you enable this option your lines will always be straight right so l enter yes my lines are straight in any direction so let's start drawing the letter a i'll take the difference from this figure here you can see that there are four boxes along the horizontal it means four inches along the horizontal and five boxes along the vertical that means five inches along the vertical so taking that reference i'll enter i'll specify the first point and then stretch the line up to five inches along the vertical and then 4 inches along the horizontal, 5 inches along the vertical, and then it must have been 1 inch, okay. 1 inch along the horizontal, 2 inch along the vertical, 2 inches along the horizontal, 2 inches along the vertical, and then I can finish it up over here. Now the remaining part, I can take the difference uh, I'll enter reference from this point and then draw my line from one inch above this reference right so one enter my line will start from here so two inches along the horizontal one inch along the vertical two inch along the horizontal and then one inch along the vertical enter so here is the letter a it is just like letter a in the previous drawing there is another method of drawing these alphabets which will help you to learn more commands now in order to do that i will show you this array you can use this array and draw these alphabets how uh, let me show you first i will teach you how to draw this array okay so in order to draw that array you can just type l enter and then let us specify the starting point uh, here and then five inches along the vertical enter enter so we have a straight line now we can multiply this line into various rows and columns okay you can see um, i'll just click on this line and then type a r r uh, array and then enter rectangular then here you can see that i have the options to choose how many columns so columns means um, i just want one two three four five five columns okay five and then how many rows i just want a single row and then the gap between 
the columns means one inch okay it's fine here you can see that i have just multiplied the line into one two three four five five equal parts so let's press enter mm. now in order to draw these vertical lines you can just specify this l enter specify this point and then join the end point enter after that you can click on this line and then type arr array rectangular and then you can select single column and how many six rows okay space between the rows is one okay that's fine then press enter here you can see that i have created a array just like this one matrix i must say a matrix just like this one right so after this when i click on any object you can see that the entire object is selected so i can't do anything much about this that is why i have to break this entire object into many small parts i will show you what do i mean by that so i will just select this entire object i will just type um, explode here you can see explode and then i think it has been exploded now when i click on this object you can see that individual object is selected previously what happened was let me show you by doing control z when i clicked on the object the entire object was selected but now uh, when i just mm, wait okay when i just click on this entire object and then type the command explode then i can select the individual object after exploring it what you can do is uh, wait i will just show you by drawing the letter c okay so in order to draw the letter c you can type the command tr trim and then trim a single object you can see i can trim this horizontal line okay now let me just draw the letter c okay i can just click like this like this hmm. so here i have the letter c now you can again draw that array or copy paste this array and then keep on drawing other letters okay